Hi, this is Salma Banawan, and welcome to the pre-release material for the March 2021 paper 2-2, and this is task 3. So reading from the pre-release description task 3, varying the quiz, modify task 1 to allow students to choose how many questions they would like in the test and if they would like a mixed set of questions. A mixed set means that each question can be from a different multiplication, for example, from 2 to 12. All right, so now looking at the previous code for task one, here's our previous code. We're going to need to make a couple of changes. After the third line, after asking for the student name, we're going to add five lines of code. In these lines of code, we're going to prompt the user to ask how many questions do they want in their test and to ask them if they want a mixed table test or not. We're also going to add an if statement if they said no, they don't want a mixed table test, then we're going to keep that same code from task one, which creates a normal test. The only difference would be that the test is going to have the number of questions that they've specified. So let's say they want 10 questions. And these 10 questions will be about only one multiplication table. So after we finish the normal code from task one about a normal test, then we're going to add the task three code to make a mixed table program. So if they said, no, we don't want a mixed table program, we have the old code from task one. And then in that bigger green section, we're going to add the new task three code. So let's have a look at task three. We have, of course, input random. We have the num array, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We have score equals 0. We have student name equals input your name. Now, here are the new five lines of code that we need to add, okay, in order to satisfy the requirements for task 3. So we're going to add a prompt number of questions is equal to int input. How many questions would you like in your test? Mixed test is equal to input. Would you like a mixed test with different tables? Yes or no. And I've put some validation for mixed test. If it's not equal to yes or no, then error, you need to type either yes or no. And finally, if mixed test is equal to no, because it's an if statement, we're going to tab and copy paste the same code that we had from task one that's related to having a test, for example, about the multiplication table five. Okay, except that this time we're going to have the number of questions that the student or the user has specified. So that was the code for step one. Okay, we needed to add some more prompts. And in step two, we simply had the same code from task one, which will give a normal test. Now we have the new part of task three, else. That means that the person said, you know, they do want a mixed test. So we're going to have num1 array and num2 array. And we're going to have a for loop that's going to run for the number of questions that the user wants. We're going to randomly choose one of the values in num1 array re and remove that value so we don't use it in the next question and randomly choose another a value from num2 array and remove that question and finally show the question and check the user's answers. So that was step three. That's the code for making a mixed test. Finally, in step four, we're going to need to modify the message that we're going to print. So if the score is greater than or equal to 75% of the number of questions, print well done, else print have another practice. So here's some sample output. I have put my name, I put I want four questions, and yes, I want a mixed test. As you can see, the first numbers that come out are 10, 6, 3, and 11. The second numbers are 11, 5, 10, and 8, so they don't repeat, okay? And, you know, I only got two correct, so it gave me a message, have another practice. Thank you so much for watching this. Let me know in the comments if you need anything else. Bye-bye.